Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Aaron Young. This is my channel, Key West Waterman. Uh, I've had some great weather today, so I didn't have a charter. Um, this is your first time watching. I make my living in and on the water as a charter guide and a commercial fisherman. Um, didn't have a charter today. Weather's great, so I'm out here digging for gold, looking for golden tiles uh, commercially. I'm gonna try and catch some and sell them to the market. So golden tiles, um, hunting similar bottom as the snowies. This is about a 30, 40 foot ledge right here. Um, just kind of coming up and bouncing over the top of it. I find them all over just like snowies. There's not much difference of it in the bottom that I see them in. Um, everywhere from 500 out to 1200. You just kind of got to put, put the time in and find your, find your spots and that's about it. So I'm gonna lay this rig down. Good friend of mine, Matt Conrad, taught me this trick. The greatest deep dropper in all of North Texas. Like to lay the rig down, give him a second to eat. That looks like a tile bite. Got slammed. This is a new spot too. That's a nice fish. Um, goldens are very, very aggressive, giving this reel some trouble. If I had to guess, I would say that's acting like a golden. So like I was saying, uh, tile fish tend to fight the whole way up. This fish is still giving us a few bounces here and there. Um, we're only about 200 feet down and um, still giving us some trouble, so. Just like that. That's what a tile looks like. So this looks like the right fish. Yeah, baby. Is the right one. Third drop of the day. Look at this thing. Girl. That's pay dirt, baby. This is today's target. That was our third drop of the day. Look at that. Golden tile, baby. Probably my top three favorite fish to eat. See the colors on that. Unreal. Going well. Let's get back in the water. So quite honestly, I put the cameras away because I hadn't had a bite in an hour and a half. I found this nice little pinnacle. Got some life there on top of it. You can see, uh, got the bait to drag right across it and I hooked something, so. Finally, getting bored there. Not acting very big, but there you go. Gonna find out here in a sec. Hey! Gold, baby, gold! I like it. So I haven't even got my bait to this backside yet. You can see big bunch of life and a nice roll right there. So I'm gonna try and hit that next time if I can. Snowy! Always a pleasant surprise out here. I will take it. Then I need my hook back, brother. Woo! 
gill plate got me good. Good as new. Nice blue. That is a big blue line tilefish. I will take those all day. Beautiful blue line tile. Look at the size of that guy. Love it. Nice little bonus. Oh, he's already sliming everywhere. I showed you guys one of these a few videos ago. Barrel fish. Got an eyeball on that thing. He's gonna go in the live well for just a few minutes. Get some of the slime off of him. My gold goes blue. Blue will do. These things slime everything. Nice one though, that's a big barrel. Ew, look at that. That's what they're known for, is their slime. It gets all over everything. So we pulled five or six nice fish off that spot. Uh, you don't really want to beat it to death when you find a good spot with a lot of life like that. Um, so I'm gonna move on. We're gonna go to the next. New spot, new territory. Let's go. Got my custom band-aid on. All right, we are on the bottom. Oh, already getting some love, that was quick. Oh yeah! Woo yeah, baby! New spot. No, he pulled off. No. Oh my God, he broke the rig. Whatever it was, I have no weight on there. That fish was massive. 200 pound test, he just snapped it. One, two, three, four. Ate the bottom rig and snapped it at the swivel. Wow. Whatever that was, was big. Well, let's reset on that spot. So what happened was it snapped at where they crimped the swivels, which could have been my fault. You can tell it's the same length. So it snapped at the swivel, ate the bottom one. Maybe I crimped it too hard on the bottom. That's just absolutely heartbreaking. That was a very, very big fish, whatever it was. Let's try that again. That was absolutely heartbreaking. Whatever that was, was no telling. Very big fish. All right, on the bottom, same spot. Whoa! Holy crap. Oh, I pulled him off. Man, this spot is alive. Goodness gracious. back big fish this one doesn't look as big but it looks big enough Big 
snowy grouper. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh, that means the first one was a snowy too. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my goodness. That's a paycheck right there, baby. Yes, money. All right, let's go back down. Let's try to duplicate that. Man, that's a real bummer. I lost that first fish. It was a beaut. if I told you, unless you saw it. Look at these snowy groupers. Unreal. Three drops, three fish. Yeah, baby. Does it get much better than that? This is a new spot. I just found this on accident. Can you believe that? <laughs> it continues. <laughs> it continues. It. Man, I'll tell you what, we started out slow, but we are finishing strong. There we go, baby. Well, I say we pulled all the snowies we need off this spot. Last drop of the day. Looks like a good one. Who knew work could be this much fun? Wish it was always like this. Looking kind of heavy. Not a soul in sight, baby. I love it. I think we're gonna edit on that, boys and girls. Kinda came out looking for tiles, but 
uh, the day had other plans and I'm not mad about it. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, not a soul in sight. I love my job. I will see you guys at the dock. What a day. Fish are at the market. Um, I will check back in when I got the check. Let you know how great today actually was. All right, guys, welcome back. I've got um, commercial breakdown numbers here for you. Uh, a couple things I wanna say first. Keep in mind, I'm probably one of the worst commercial fishermen I personally know in Key West. Um, there's guys down here that have been doing this their whole life that completely blow me out of the water, make me look like a buffoon at the scales. Um, but I enjoy learning. I enjoy the process of learning. So that's kind of why I'm sharing this stuff with you. I figured there's a lot of you out there that probably want to learn just as much as I do. So that's one of the main reasons. Um, second, a lot of you guys were asking about hooks and uh, rod and all that kind of stuff for the deep dropping thing. I didn't have time to get to it this episode, but I will squeeze um, a rundown of everything I use, my style. Um, I'm not the greatest at it, but what I do works sometimes. So I'd be happy to share that information with you. But. With that being said, let's get down to the numbers. Great day deep dropping. Had an absolute blast uh, by myself. Uh, ended up with about 175 pounds. These are round numbers. 175 pounds of fish. Uh, 110 snowy, 20 something golden. Um, about 20 barrel fish, about 30 uh, blue line or gray tile. Uh, for a total of 295, or 200, $965 in sales. Um, expenses, gas, uh, Osprey from Dolphin Deli. If you're ever in town, you gotta go get one of those. Uh, and some sour straws, uh, $235. And expenses, $965 minus $235, uh, $730. The boat made that day. Um, had an absolute blast. I'm gonna fish it by myself. How cool is that? Um, so, pretty good day. As always, someone walking around about me. As always, um, Subscribe if you're not already. Gotta subscribe, that's what keeps us going. Sorry about that. Jets are doing their thing. Freedom rings uh, quite often down here in Key West, so that's all right. Um, as always, subscribe. If you're not, even if you don't like the videos, subscribe, turn on notifications, that way you know to not watch them when I post new ones. So, everybody wins. Um, and leave comments, love the comments, uh, love the new ideas and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get to this stuff as uh, soon as and best I can. As always, appreciate you watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Later.